Hi, and welcome to 4 Minute Answers. As you probably know, we love Notion. And with every update, Notion just gets better and better. Today, we'll be talking about a recent improvement to Notion, adding subtasks to action items on your to-do list. Now, Notion is great for project management, you know, helping teams collaborate and coordinate on complex projects. But sometimes, a full project management structure isn't needed for a to-do that just has a handful of steps, especially if you're the one who's going to be taking care of all of them. And maybe you don't want to add these steps in a way that just makes your to-do list seem, well, just too long. Notion recently introduced subtasks. Now, if you've got a task that needs a bit of breaking into parts, Notion makes it easy. Let's take a closer look. Say, for example, we have a project to write a proposal. Now, in reality, writing a proposal can take several steps, research and outline, the creation of creative assets, writing and design, and a cover email to go with it. Instead of just needing to add each of these as tasks on your to-do list, let's create them as subtasks. In the three dots at the right edge of your database, click on those dots and scan down and you'll see sub items. Click on that and you can either change the name Personally, I prefer subtask or parent task, or you can just leave them be. Go ahead and click Create. Now, back at your database, all the way over to the right, Notion has added two columns, columns which you don't need to worry about at all. Instead, all the way at the left, you can now toggle any of the tasks. And when you do, you can create subtasks. So let's toggle on Write a Proposal. And now we can add the subtasks that we mentioned. Research, outline, creative assets, writing, design, and cover email. Now we have subtasks, and we can tick these off as we complete them to show ourselves, and then perhaps anybody else, the progress that we're making. Now, if you don't want to see the list of subtasks, all you need to do is hit the toggle right next to Write a Proposal, and it will close that up. It's pretty cool. And if you want, you can create subtasks within subtasks and then subtasks within those. Notion is simply amazing. If you haven't started using Notion yet, click the link below and get Notion for free. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe and let us know if you have any comments or questions. And you may want to check out this video right here.